I hope y'all doing good today. I'm, I'm so appreciative of your, all the love and support that y'all showed me. If you are new to this channel, uh, I love the bow. I play other games, but I also love to help bow players. So this specific video is how to break Fatalis's head. Don't matter where you at in the game, even if you're new or a veteran, this could help you. It doesn't even matter. First off, I'm gonna start by showing you two classes that I use for breaking his head every time. And you can manipulate these classes or how do you want to, but I'm gonna break down everything so you don't get confused. And even if you don't have all the jewels, don't worry, just, just wing it. Some of these jewels, you, can de you definitely don't need to have every single jewel that I have, but the majority of this class, I'm pretty sure you have the jewels anyway. Um, another thing too, right after I show you the classes, we just gonna get right into breaking down my game footage on how I break down his head and I'm gonna get into the punishments and I'll even put the controls on the screen. So if you wanna just practice certain punishments for him, you could do it. But without further ado, I tried to make this video the best way I could. Hopefully it helps you. Let's get right into the video. And also, if you are new, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps the video so much in the channel so I can keep pushing these videos out to you. All right, so the first class is the one I used online. This one is pretty safe. And another thing, if you did not know, the Electrion Bow is way better for breaking his head versus the actual Fatalis Bow. So if you want to break Fatalis's head with the bow, get it through your head. You always need to use the Electrion Bow, no matter. It doesn't matter what nobody else tells you. And the most important jewels here are the Destroyer Jewels, the Attack Jewels. Like I said before, you really don't need them. I'm, I'm just trying to max out the damage I can cap out in this class. And um, I never use Health Augment, but you can use Health Augment for this. It makes it a lot safer. And yeah, most of these jewels you probably have like Critical and Tenderizer. But yeah, this is a very good class, but this is kind of on the safer side. Next, I'm going to show you the meta side and when I want to get a good time breaking his head. So this actually is the metal one I use, and this one is far way better for damage, typically for me. So I want to do the max damage. This one is good because it gives you coalescence, and I have a, a glider mantle, which gives you a level four slot jewels. So glider mantle is actually like pretty dope on this game. But this class specifically is the one I use. It's a little bit unsafer. You don't get the health and the stamina boost like the first one. It still gives you way a lot of damage. It's at least doing 80 plus if the coalescence is activated on the class so it's a pretty good class um, the highest i got hitting his head was like 90 with this class so it's pretty good once you get comfortable i, I would definitely recommend using this another important thing that people don't really realize is like on the third phase when he just puts the fire on the ground i slide it in a cooling jewel to make sure i don't get burned out by that i know a lot of people if you're tired of getting like heat damage over time like fatalis is flame put a cooling jewel whatever class it doesn't even matter even if like you're not even breaking his head. The cooling jewel is very important to have just so you won't die from burn damage. I think this class is like one of my favorites, but without further ado, pause it, do whatever you need to. Now I'm gonna get into the footage on what I personally do in the punishment. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm just gonna commentate over the gameplay. So whenever something magnificent happens or something that's very important, I'll pause it and make sure you understand why. But before the match, I always put my buffs on. That's what everybody does universally. So uh, initially when you get down there, man, so yeah, you probably see other people in multiplayer do this, but you throw a smoke bomb initially, it's an easy way to um, just tenderize his head and tenderize his chest without him, you know, killing you or hitting you. And I have very low health, so I do this pretty much every time I play with this specific class. I'm playing with the meta class. So you see, I throw the smoke down, right? Initially, and it gets some. But sometimes it doesn't because your cat pulls aggro. But if it does, good for you. If it doesn't, just try again. So yeah, um, after I do that, I try to do a little bit of damage to the head. Then I, I tenderize his head. Right here, I usually get clipped by this, but I don't know. Monster Hunter was on my side, but usually after I do that, I try to go for his chest until I see the opening. So this is the first opening. So let's pause it. So if you have power coding, this is a really good punishment. I had close coding, so I, I couldn't punish him as one as I, uh, much as I wanted to, but I tried to do it as much as I can. But when he does the flamethrower, you can get back since you're a range player and punish him for this. Not too much, but it, it's still punishable. Let's move on. Literally right after he does that, he does another move that I love. And most people don't know that you can punish this, but you can. You don't even have to dash if you have a charge held or you can you can dash if you want to but it's better if you just stand still so i'm already doing um i already have charge shots already charged right so when he's doing this i just do one charge shot and then i finish it off with a power shot and you can literally spam this move literally 
but you have to time it to make sure you're in that animation and still have charge shots to stand still otherwise you have to dash and then right after this i knock him down to his belly uh because doing so much damage to his chest when he initially gets knocked down you can go into a dash into another charge shot and to end it with a power shot and still grapple onto him and get that uh wall bang so this is you can always do this but you got to position yourself well and have very good timing so just practice it and after all this initial of the wall bang after each wall bang you do you can throw a smoke under him if you didn't notice and he probably will look stupid most of the time but make sure you're in the smoke so usually i'll take this opportunity to paralyze him so i can max the damage cap on uh when i actually end up paralyzing him so whenever he gets paralyzed before he gets paralyzed he does this one move this is probably the best move to punish so please make sure that you pay attention once he does the side swipe right anybody plays fighting games you know if you know frames this is literally the frame to fully punish him this is like a fully punishable decision that fatalis just made so you can go up to i went to a dash shot a charge shot like pretty much three charge shots into a power shot you can literally just do a full combo on him when he does this and this is what actually brings him into the paralyzed state so i can start beginning doing damage on his head about i probably done at least like 2k to 3k it takes about 2k to 4k to get the initial flinch but the paralyzing damage that you just did is like very crucial but let's pause this moment so the quick bite is a very good punishment but very risky if you are not comfortable doing this i wouldn't recommend it but you can always go into a dash charge shot and finish it with a power shot he does it again but i have no stamina so you know you got to pay attention to your stamina too because i knew i had low stamina so i didn't want to get caught lacking whenever i was finished initially doing it because i knew he was probably going to do it again but after that we get right back into it you know he does he does his favorite move the spam whenever i'm doing good he loves swimming that move but he turns around it and you know how he turns around and instantly does fireball you can't punish this but you got to be very comfortable dodging so if you're comfortable dodging with the bow i will go into a dash shot and then end it with a power shot if you're not comfortable doing that just dodge it he goes into the snake bite i call it a snake bite then he goes into quick bite you see how i'm punishing the quick bite right every time just like i told you then after the quick bite he goes into a line fire and i know where his head is going to be placed as soon as he's done so i go into a power shot and that's when i get the initial flinch right so just follow along with me if you don't understand i'm gonna try to put the controls but a lot of this is about positioning so i get their first initial head flinch which is good that means i got about 4k so the next round since i have heavy artillery on and if you don't know what heavy artillery it just gives you more power on the uh, roman ballista so when we're on a roman ballista my goal is to do as much damage as his head as possible if i can't hit his head just go for his chest but usually you know i put i put the um glider mana on because it has heavy artillery um but i throw a smoke down so he can't seize me so he go down be very wary of this if you have your cat because your cat pulls aggro but like i said i'm aiming for the head right and don't be scared bro just just aim for the head as much as you can you see i'm following his head as he moves as he screams i'm, I'm staying right as his head i dodge that boom he's going to try to kill you as you're doing this especially if you're close but you see how i got the part breaker right you're this is this is just guaranteed you're going to get that first initial head break so if you can really just mess him up in the first round you're always going to get that first initial head break I, I break his head twice in this but i think i pretty much covered a lot of his moves but i'm still going to commentate over it just to make sure that i follow through but pretty much right there is like he already broke his head pretty much so like when you get to the third phase you're already going to be in a better position so i just go for the tenderizer again and initially when i throw the smoke whenever you throw the smoke you can get good damage in too when uh because he's looking stupid this right here is a obvious like come on bro full calm whenever he does his cone move full combo i made his head flinch again we are doing very good this is a this is a very good run like a very very good run this move you can't really punish it so i just go for the chest um but then he gets knocked down again and, and like guess what i do boom i'm going for that initial punish that full combo every time he gets knocked down like that initially you can do a full combo right there every single time but he goes for the comb the comb is your best friend when he does his move and does this run you should be trying to do the most damage you can possible or tenderize the comb move is your best friend that's probably where you're gonna feel the most comfortable initially punishing him in the comb move because he he's in a like a stationary position so he can't move so right there you can do a full combo going to a dash into a power shot at least three times like come on man it's too easy and that's when he goes into the third phase but and at this point we already feeling good because 
his head is pretty much broken and then i'm just going for the double head break just because it's just something i'm doing in this specific video but pretty much you can chill like if and if i even if you had the other class that i showed you you would still be probably in the same damage range that i am at right now so yeah pretty much we're just gonna finish it off uh the rest of this is just is just me doing it so I, I could commentate over this or just let it play but that's pretty much it um yeah i don't know i like i like doing that little mechanic right there with the, the glider man i think it's pretty cool but a, another good position where you can get a lot of good head damage is when you um get to the third phase and you still have those uh you can buy all the binders yeah another good thing is the binders you can get a lot of good damage in as you can see so when i initially come down all i'm doing is just going for the initial damage um on his head from the binders and just because he's finished scream doesn't mean i'm gonna stop doing damage i could just dodge that and go right into his chest the third phase scares a lot of people but as you can see there's no blue flame so we already broke his head but i'm just going for the extra you know the a plus pretty much just try to just do it twice so i just keep doing damage to his chest unless the opening comes up and i'm so, that's what i'm saying it's so easy like once you get this down you're gonna it's not it's really not that hard if you can't even be fatalist i don't even know why you're watching this video <laughs> Like literally, because you shouldn't be worried about breaking his head. But if you if you feel comfortable enough that you can beat him, then I feel like if you if you watch this video enough times to understand what I'm saying, and it's it's really it's really not that hard. And you don't have to have the best class to do this. I I've literally seen people with way you know uh, watered down classes do this. So you know I'm I'm pretty much just doing. I just broke his chest, but so his, his chest is broken and his head is broken. I'm just trying to get that extra damage. Uh, another tip I can go uh, say for you, or uh, just for if you're new to the game, if he does a 360, just try to stay within his uh his belly range. So if you see him through the 360, don't freak out, bro. Just literally just reposition. That's, that's all this game is about. You see how he, you see how much he's spamming, <laughs> yo. You see, you see how much he's spamming, but yeah, I, like I, I I love Fatalis fight. I, I've really do it's really a fun fight but yeah i just pretty much i'm gonna just let the rest of the the clip play um if something comes up that i need to really discuss then i'll do it but like i said everything i already covered pretty much so you can just listen and just watch the rest of the gameplay pretty much but i hope this helped you guys um you know i really wanted this to help somebody hopefully it did but look, look, every time he does that 360, notice how I reposition myself. Don't get scared. Just reposition. And if you're in a bad position, put that weapon up and dolphin dive like his Black Ops 1. I'm telling you, it's going to protect you every time. But yeah, man. Uh, hopefully y'all like this video. I appreciate all y'all for y'all support and everything. Um, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, really, I, I do. But um, pretty much that's all you need to know. It's not that big. Of, it's not that hard, to be honest. It's like Once you get the hang of it. It took a lot of practice for me to be able to do this, but... Like I said, once you do it, it's it's pretty good. But uh, I appreciate y'all looking at this video. And, yeah, I'm going to just let the rest of it play out. And then, yo, that's it, man. Hopefully, if y'all have any questions or specifics, you can ask me in the comments or join my Discord if you if you really need help. But um, make sure you like and subscribe if this helps you in any type of way. Um, I know this is kind of one of my short videos, but it's not really much to explain, to be honest. But yeah, man, I hope y'all have a good day. And yeah, let's go, man. And I almost forgot two moves. So this move right here where he just like kind of throws up the flamethrower and goes side to side. This is a very good um, move to punish also. You can go on the side of him and get a, a dash shot and a power shot in. And you can actually wait till he's done because you already know his head is going to go in the middle. So you can just go ahead and just start doing your full combo and then end it with a power shot. Very good punish as well. I'm sorry I forgot about it. I just looked back at the video and I was like, I missed a couple of moves. So, you know, we just going to go back over them because I want you to get this full experience of how to break this man head because it's really not that hard. The next move is um this swipe. So when he, when he does that long drawn out swipe, immediately after you dodge you can get a pretty good combo almost a, well pretty much a full combo after um well almost a full combo after he's done because as he's getting as he's rising his head up from doing that you can you can punish him a lot and this is another one too this is probably a little bit more dangerous one obviously but when he's doing the three fireballs as he's standing up every time he puts his head down or every time he recovers from shooting a fireball you can do a power shot if you time it in position right i know this is a lot if, but this practice makes perfect i'm not expecting you to get it i'm just trying to put points y'all in the right direction but um yeah this this is officially the end of the video i just wanted to put them two in there at the um at the end just so you can see that but yeah man 